Tesla has completely redesigned their best-selling Model 3 sedan going into 2024 with the secretive Project Highland. This is a rare occurrence over at Tesla and it marks the first major overhaul to the Model 3 since it was released five years ago. While we're not expecting any aspect of the vehicle to change too drastically, there are several modifications and upgrades that in combination will give the Model 3 a new look and feel. So here's what to expect from the Tesla Model 3 in 2024. This is an interesting one because Tesla has been known so far as a company that does not mess around with the look of their product. All Tesla vehicles look extremely similar and the general aesthetic has gone pretty much unchanged since the first Model S back in 2013. And after they fixed that weird black oval thing on the front of the original S, things have been pretty smooth sailing. With the 2024 Highland Model 3, the Tesla design has taken a pretty distinct turn. So judging from this leaked photo of a Highland Model 3, we can see that the soft curving, rounded, almost mustache-like line in the front bumper has been replaced by one crisp seam that runs all the way from left to right of the bumper. And in line with that more linear simplified bumper, we can also see that the headlight has been compressed down into a smaller, flatter kind of design. It doesn't curve up to the outside anymore, it just cuts straight across from the top in line with that seam in the bumper. Now again, we're not talking about a drastic change, but for Tesla, it's a pretty notable departure from tradition. Even the most recent Model S Plaid doesn't have a line like this. If anything, the new Model 3 bumper reminds us of Elucid Air. It has that wrap around the lip edge right at the front, and this gives us a hint at one reason why Tesla may have made this decision. But we think that the main reason at play here is likely based around manufacturing. The current Tesla front bumper design has a lot of curves and contours going on, and by nature that's making the component more complex to manufacture, paint, and finish. We know that the big overarching goal at Tesla right now is to optimize their manufacturing process to build cars faster, more efficiently, and cheaper. So by simplifying a cosmetic element like a plastic bumper, that's one small step to achieving their goal. Reason number two, thinking about the Lucid Air resemblance here, the Lucid is an exceptionally aerodynamic vehicle, so it would stand to reason that by adopting a similar design that's known to be effective, Tesla may be increasing the aerodynamic performance of the Model 3, which is important in an electric car for achieving maximum range. Third reason, which is probably a stretch, but we'll throw it out there anyway, the Tesla Cybertruck obviously has a lot of very pronounced edges, and particularly, it does have that one long seam across the front. So by adding a more clearly defined edge to their passenger cars, it might be an attempt to make the Cybertruck feel a little more cohesive with the rest of the vehicle lineup, if that's even possible. Moving around to the back, we've got the indication that there is an entirely new taillight design coming to the Model 3 Highland. So a lot of our information comes from these test vehicles that Tesla has been driving around near their design headquarters in California. They add these protective covers to the body of the vehicle that conceals any exterior design changes while they are road testing the car. In one instance, some of the cover on the rear end of the vehicle came loose and revealed a bit of the new Model 3 taillight, and, no surprise, the minimalist design from the front is continued on the rear. The big change here is Tesla moving from a horizontally laid out taillight fixture where the light array stretches wide from left to right, they're now compressing that into a narrow vertical arrangement on the outside edge of the vehicle, and then only a thin linear slit of amber light that extends in towards the center. This was illustrated very clearly in a rendering by the Cybertruck 420 on Twitter, so credit to them for the image. So these two leaks or preview images of the Model 3 Highland from the front and back show us that Tesla is doing away with the rounded, swooping curves that have defined their vehicle aesthetic and moving towards a more compact, linear design language. The new Model 3 also seems to have a more pronounced rear diffuser along top of the trunk lid, similar to a spoiler, just with a much lower profile. This looks more in line with the Model S and is probably geared towards improved aerodynamic performance. Again, we can imagine that the primary reason for this goes back to simplifying the manufacturing process. Smaller headlights and taillights mean fewer parts, lower cost, and faster production. That's what it's all about right now for Tesla. After a long year of chaos, price cuts, and other drama, Tesla has achieved its best sales quarter ever, and a full recovery from last year's stock losses. 
owners and investors can breathe a little easier atop the throne as the unquestionable leader of the EV industry. The milestone is more impressive when you consider the largest companies in the world are still seeing zero or negative growth, not to mention slashing thousands of jobs. It couldn't come at a worse time for many Americans. Already bearing the weight of trillions in consumer debt, but there are always opportunities in times of chaos, which is why the new meta has shifted. High net worth investors are further diversifying their portfolios with real assets like fine art. Banks like Goldman Sachs say art can help protect your purchasing power, and data shows the art market is currently surpassing even its pre-pandemic highs. Luckily, we've already partnered with Masterworks, the art investing platform, for months, and they've sold $45 million in fine art to date, handing back the net proceeds to investors like us who didn't need millions of dollars or our expertise to get involved. In fact, each and every one of Masterworks' 14 exits has returned a profit to investors, and now over 750,000 users have signed up to gain access, so there is a waitlist. But our partnership means you get VIP access to their latest offering and avoid the waitlist. So check the description below. Another area we know Tesla is modifying with the Highland Model 3 is with the vehicle interior. Now, unlike the exterior changes, the interior design of Highland will actually bring the Model 3 more in line with some existing Tesla products, namely the Model S and Model X. The overall theme on the interior is basically following the exterior redesign, which is simplifying and removing everything that isn't necessary. So for one, that means that the same as the Model S, the Model 3 will be losing the gear shift and control stocks on its steering column. And this is a controversial move because it drastically alters the basic user interface of the vehicle. Anyone who's ever driven a car is familiar with a left-hand control stock that activates the turn signals and headlights, and as well, every car previous has had some kind of gear selection mechanism, either on the steering wheel column or in the center console. These have become more abstract in recent years as electronically controlled gearboxes and transmissionless EVs have become more prominent but every other brand aside from Tesla has retained a physical control switch for park, reverse, and drive. In exchange for these traditional controls, the Highland Model 3 will be getting the same steering wheel that was recently introduced to the Model S and Model X. Those two originally were only available with a steering yoke thing, but eventually Tesla compromised by releasing an actual wheel-shaped control. What makes the new wheel different is the capacitive touch buttons. The same controls from the original yoke are ported over to the new wheel, and this is how Model 3 drivers will control their turn signals, headlights, wipers, and horn. These buttons are in addition to the traditional command wheels. The only thing to keep in mind is that these buttons aren't really buttons in the traditional sense, as in, they don't click. These are capacitive touch controls, so they're more like a touchscreen, and that means that you don't really get a physical response when you press them, so a lot of people find these to be less intuitive. It's easier to press something by accident, or you think you've activated the signal, but it didn't actually switch on. It's going to be different. Then the gear selector is just replaced by a digital slider on the far left edge of the center screen. This isn't really a big deal, it's not something you would ever change while the vehicle is in motion, and with an electric car, especially a Tesla, you only ever really need to toggle between drive and reverse, and that's just a matter of swipe up or swipe down, so it should be easy to get used to. Aside from that major change, there are going to be a few minor additions to the Model 3 interior. One nice upgrade being ventilated front seats, so there will be perforations in the material of the seat and a fan on the bottom that will flow air up and over the person's body, which is a nice touch. And it also looks like Tesla is installing ambient LED lights in the new interior, so you'll get that soft glow inside the car and you can tune the color, the pulse rate, and all that if you're into that kind of thing. One feature that has been rumored lately about the Highland Model 3 but still seems unlikely is a steer-by-wire system, which means that the mechanical linkage between the steering wheel in the cabin and the steering assembly in the front end of the vehicle will be replaced by electrical signals and motors. To date, Tesla has used electronic power steering in all of their vehicles, which means that the traditional mechanical link is still there, but electric motors are used to augment the driver input. Basically, it just makes the steering extremely smooth and easy, almost too smooth. You kind of lose the feeling of the road that you get from a traditional hydraulic system. 
Going to steer by wire basically makes your steering wheel a video game controller. There's no actual linkage from the inside wheel to the outside wheels. This is still pretty new technology, it isn't available in very many consumer vehicles, and Tesla has never used it before, which makes it seem unlikely that they would use the Model 3 as a testing ground, because the Model 3 is so popular and it sells at such a high volume. If there turns out to be a problem with the steering, Tesla will have more vehicles affected and need to perform a larger recall and repair than if they had introduced this to something like the Model S Plaid, which only sells a few thousand units per month. Or they could have introduced this new steering with the Cybertruck which would benefit a lot more from the upgraded capabilities because of its large size. And because the Cybertruck is an all new product, people would be more forgiving if it had some bugs in the early days. If Tesla rolls out steer by wire in the Model 3, then they don't have any choice but to get it right the first time or risk spoiling the reputation for a top selling product, which feels too risky. Another upgrade that we know is coming to the Highland Model 3 would be the upgrade to hardware 4 of the autopilot computer and camera systems. That means higher resolution cameras all around with greater dynamic range to see more detail in all kinds of different lighting conditions. It also means an additional camera mounted to the front bumper to give autopilot better forward visibility and better object detection. And that comes with an upgraded computer chip running the whole system. So the Highland Model 3 will be able to get the best possible performance out of the latest software releases of FSD beta as they continue to arrive. Hardware 4 also includes a new 4D high resolution radar unit. This is a bit of a return to form for Tesla, who abandoned radar and sonar sensors entirely on their vehicles over the past couple of years. Now they are working radar back into the autopilot hardware again, so what's up with that? Elon Musk has said before that high resolution radar is good for self-driving, but low quality radar is actually worse than having no radar at all. So with hardware 4, Tesla has developed their own radar module that will increase the functionality of autopilot, though we're not sure if that radar unit is active yet, since it only exists in the most recent Tesla vehicle sold in the past couple of months. The autopilot software has probably not been updated yet to take advantage of the hardware. We have the indication that there might be some changes coming to the battery pack of the Highland Model 3. We have information from Tesla China that shows a new battery chemistry being introduced to the Giga Shanghai made Highland vehicle. The new battery is from CATL, which is a long-standing battery partner for Tesla, and the chemistry is a lithium manganese iron phosphate, so it is similar to the iron cathode batteries that Tesla has already been using in the Model 3 rear wheel drive for years now. But with the addition of manganese to the cathode, there will be an increase in energy density, meaning more range and higher performance. These new batteries are kind of halfway in between Tesla's existing LFP cell that they use for standard range vehicles and the nickel cobalt manganese cell that they use in long range and performance vehicles. Now, it's difficult to say if this new battery will make its way into the Highland Model 3 produced by Tesla in California, because in order to qualify for the United States Inflation Reduction Act EV tax credit, at least 50% of the value of the battery components have to be produced in North America. So Chinese made batteries would disqualify the Model 3 from the full US tax credit. Although Tesla has managed to get their current rear wheel drive Model 3, which uses CATL iron phosphate batteries to qualify for the full tax credit as of right now, this version of the Model 3 was only eligible for a half credit earlier this year, but something changed in June that made it eligible for the full amount, and that could continue on for the new CATL battery cells in the Highland. We know that the introduction of the Highland Model 3 into Tesla's vehicle lineup is coming soon. These new vehicles were recently spotted doing winter testing in New Zealand alongside production copies of the Tesla Cybertruck. We're kind of expecting both vehicles to be released at around the same time, if not the same day, and that's pretty likely to be sometime in either September or October. So we won't have to wait very long to see this car and everything that it has to offer. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.